Good morning, I'm Dana Prince, and this is Trending. Black water will never outrun its notoriety, despite how many times it changes its name. The mercenary force of convicted war criminals was founded by Eric Prince. It turns out that the Frontier Services Group, which is an entirely different mercenary group, that surprisingly chaired by Eric Prince is heading to China. However, they are not there to sell mercenary services. There are opening some forward operating bases to help the Chinese train the ex-PLA soldiers on how to be mercenaries. Eric Prince is the notorious mercenary who believes that he's the modern-day descendant of Wild Bill Donovan. He even named his youngest son, Charles Donovan Prince. His budding career as a contract killer crumbled back in 2009 after it was revealed that Blackwater was a front for a secret CIA assassination program. As a result, he later acknowledged that Blackwater became a virtual extension of the CIA and it and it took orders directly from the agency. Prince appeared in the radar last year after it was revealed that he was under federal investigation for allegedly attempting to broker mercenary services to foreign governments and launder money for Libyan officials through a Chinese bank. It got worse after Prince got on board of the Trump train by donating $150,000 to Trump's campaign. And hence, he became a regular guest on Steve Bannon's Breitbart radio program, where he advocated for the revival of the Phoenix program, which was a U.S. government's death torture squad campaign, which is tested out back in Vietnam and has since then become a blueprint for operations around the globe. Trump appointed Prince's sister as the new Secretary of Education and took Prince himself on as an acknowledged advisor. After all the controversial cases, here comes the news on Prince. His new company is setting up a private army for China. Eric Prince is now the chairman of the Frontier Services Group, which is a publicly listed company on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, and it bills itself as a security and logistics services provider. Sometime last year, the company put out a press release in which they boasted their new corporate strategy, which was to cash in on the Chinese government's trillion dollars which appears to be the new Silk Road Gamble. The newly adopted strategy includes setting up forward operating bases in China's Yunnan province and the troubled Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, where they'll provide training in communications, risk mitigation, risk assessments, information gathering, medevac and security, logistics and aviation services, to businesses in the neighboring nations. This is Diana Prince for the Goldwater.